We came from a farm machinery manufacturing background and back in the mid 90s we began to look at options in machinery to repair roads. We had uh, looked at what was available on the market then and it was pretty archaic. Um, the, uh, very, the, the systems used manual labour to a large extent. It meant a lot of people were standing in roads carrying out road repair. We looked at what we could do to use modern methods to carry out that type of repair. That led us to the development of the first Roadmaster machine, um, which started around 1997. Uh, at that point, we probably wouldn't have anticipated spending so long developing the machine. It took about five years. But when we did develop that machine, we put it on the market pre -produ or production models back in 2002. Um, from there on, the development didn't stop. We continued to look at what we could improve on. We identified areas uh, which could benefit from further mechanisation. We also recognised that repairing potholes wasn't really the way to go. You only repaired a pothole because you hadn't got out there in time to pre prevent that pothole happening. So we focused the design of the machine on pothole prevention and that proved to be a winner because we've established that it costs only a fraction of the amount of money to prevent a pothole than it does to actually fix it. So by getting there in time, you save a lot of money. So the process consists of preparing the area by blowing away the water. It, uh, you apply a tack coat onto the area, then you a blow on mixture, uh, which is a coated aggregate at high velocity, and you top off the area, tidy it up. The reason we prefer to use Volvo chassis as a base for our equipment is because of the terrific bodybuilder support available from Volvo. When it comes to attaching a specialist piece of kit like this onto a vehicle, it's very important to have good technical support available and we find that's of great assistance to us. Of course the icing on the cake is that we can spec this truck with an Allison automatic gearbox which uses a torque converter that allows the machine to constantly creep forward and backward all day without any stress on the components. If you were to use a manual gearbox or a servo type gearbox you wouldn't have that ability.